What is going on, everybody? I am here with some more Outlast. Last time we've made it uh, to Mount Master of Asylum to investigate the strange and corrupt things that are going on here. But then, as soon as we got in, then all hell already broken loose. By we see dead bodies, as you can see, like this guy, uh, and uh, we've seen some uh, pretty creepy guys and a big large guy that's. Uh, threw us off a window and we almost died and now in this episode we are going to get the hell out of here which is our objective escape the asylum access security control to unlock the main doors and that is what we're going to be doing we see this guy is his intestines are out and he is decapitated similar to all these guys here oh we picked up a uh we have another which one is uh, for? For the tab? Okay. Okay. So we have the Murkoff Corp. United States office. In the matter of seas. Okay. Uh, have you had been before bought? Okay. Catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environmental contamination for the Murkoff Corporate for the uh, asylum. We are satisfied that the advocates and testimony establish significant evidence to uh, require urgent action on the part of MS uh, from NHS. And grounds of insurance of this warrant. Uh, you are hereby required to grant MH MHS full access to all facilities and surrounding complete authority to all its agents by acceptance of this document. You and any surviving relatives surrounding all the claims of litigation ag against the Microsoft Corporation or its subsidiaries. I can't say subsidiary. I can't even say that. I can't, it's a big tongue twister. Subsidiary. I can't even say it. Uh, for the actions of MSH from MHS uh, or the circumstances which acquire the actions regardless of responsibility. So it looks like the Murkoff Corporation have got access to the asylum and then they could do whatever the hell they want with it. And the patients uh, inside. Now that's a huge mistake to do that. Now, is there anything around here? Ooh, there's a battery here. Nice. There's nothing in here. Okay. Nothing uh, in these desks here. Nothing useful for us. There's a uh, a cracked screen there. Not a cracked screen though, but you know what I mean. Nothing in here. Something here? No. See, and now you could actually peek, which I never understood why you could peek while uh, they're going to be seeing you, so. So here's the example of uh, variants, which variants are just basically patients of the asylum. I don't know why they gave him that word. Okay, a crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. Uh, they look like patients. They survived. However, it happened here, but nobody's home. Look at this guy. This guy has like burned up. Has a burned up face.
it's locked. Can't access that. And the, and the security guard is dead. Collected objective and the report is no. Yeah, I know that already. Jesus, what's that guy's problem? <laughs> if I had the ability to kick you, I will. But sadly, I don't. But sadly, he is not a fighter, so we can't do anything about it. Okay, so now since we got the uh, security, uh, security clearance, and then we can head to to the security office. We can't head into those cubicles. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. I think we can't. Oh yeah, we could. Can we? No. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so let's keep on going. We gotta head to it. There's a variant there. I mean, a, a, a patient. Ooh, another battery. And the door mysteriously has been locked. And I'm here, it has closed. Sorry. Nothing in here. A witness. I'm already uh, beat uh, all to hell, picking broken glass out of my uh, out of my scalpel. Scalp? Oh, uh, or out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by the flame giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws, uh, he threw, wait, yeah, he throws me through a wall, uh, knocks me unconscious, and I wake up in some uh, a doughy old man with a face like a alcohol, uh, alcoholic uh, kidney filler, and a homemade priest outfit calls, uh, calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. Uh, there are words, uh, there, there were squalled in blood. Uh, everywhere, I'm getting I'm getting an angry feeling in uh, in my gut that the priest is riding them, and for my benefit. Just the pictures of walls there. Not a big deal. You know, what did this patient just ran out of here? What is what did he Okay. Now let's read this. Uh dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required in part of the uh, in part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains straggly high. The four facilities uh, contain enough ambiguous data to make a litigation if evidence is correctly managed. Impossible Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous intentative and they will almost certainly uh, so most certainly be further for further casualties. Uh, as with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is low as to make any chance of illegal actions vanishly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But the combination of physical and chemical restraints 
has been proven significantly effective and assured continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granty. Helen Granty? Okay. So they have been uh, doing this. It's 920. Uh, they have been uh, producing a project called Project World Rider, which we do not know nothing about. So. There's the uh, the patient there. <laughs> I just slid through with the. Uh, I just slid through uh, uh, in front of the uh, in front of the door. Objective restraint. We start the generator in basement. Uh oh, that's not good. The big fucker is stalking me. Find a patient file of Chris Walker, ex military, uh, ex military police. Several tours in Afghanistan, a lot of blood in this place by his hands, but not all of it. Wait, find it find a patient file for Chris Walker. Okay. So we find so we finally know the name of So we finally know the name of uh, this guy right here. It is Chris it is Chris Walker, a variant, a big guy. He's a he's a huge uh, variant. Now with uh, Chris Walker, he's he's the uh, main character uh, that we'll be encountering a lot in this game because he is going to be stalking us throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, he's also in the DLC, of course, but that's not until later. Uh, and that's and that's just it. So we do have to be careful when the. Hopefully he leaves. They lie. Let's get out of here. Okay, one, it is super dark in there. It is super dark in here. But the good thing is, is that with Let's re let's reload that. Now I've never seen a camcorder needing uh, real life AA batteries. Not not one time. I've never seen them. Who's there? Turn on two. Turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to reset the generator. Now the reason why I'm crawling is because there are going to be two variants or two patients around here. Now I don't think they activate or they uh, start uh, chasing after you. After uh, ooh battery, until uh, uh, you start the generator, and this is when you gotta hide. Of course, the generator is gonna make sound. So you heard that, heard that little of the door uh, thrashing. I believe he's gonna come ch coming down over here. Yep. I hear, I hear his uh, bare feet. There he is.
Now I'm gonna try my best to not uh, waste that much of, uh, of, of the batteries. Even though the, the, the ba uh, you can actually replenish uh, batteries very uh, very easily in this game. In the second game, oh, it's a disaster to find batteries because uh, the the in the second game, um, it's a little bit more open world, but uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more harder and more difficult to actually find um, to actually find uh, uh, batteries. But here, but he in the first game, it is uh, not that difficult. So. I think he'll see me. Yeah, he'll see me. So now we have to crawl. We don't we don't really you don't really have to crawl, but let's hide under the bed. reload you now he's gonna be coming right in here but, he, but he's gonna go really slow that's the problem oh I see I <laughs> I saw his uh, his hands huh, there he is and he's holding a bat uh oh don't check. Okay, thank God. Okay, I was so scared for a second. I thought he was gonna check under the uh, under the bed. Christ, he went inside the other. He went. He went inside the other. There. He went inside the uh, this door right here. Oh, I think you heard that. Did you hear that? I don't know if you heard that. I think you did. Yep, here it comes. Batteries. That's just a double door. Get up, get up. I know, I know, I gotta reload. I know, I, I'm, I'm going try hard right now. <laughs> Cause I, cause I want to do this uh, first times. So I want to do this uh, on my first go, so that's why I'm I'm being like super careful. Ooh, battery. You see what I'm saying in the fir in the first game. Uh, in the first game, the. Uh, in the first game. Uh, Replenishing your 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 batteries is, is super easy. So uh Yeah uh, yeah well finding uh, uh batteries is super easy. So you don't have to worry about uh slightly uh wasting your batteries. But there's gonna be some parts um throughout the game where finding uh batteries is gonna be very difficult. So I say save them. I don't know if he's a. Uh <laughs> I don't 
him see himself. Let's run. There's another document here. Not the one, the one I want, okay. Okay, uh, America, uh, CIA, ooh, CIA, uh, ooh, interesting. Uh, experiments in search on a Wednesday, the hypotonic experiment and research work was continued in building 13, la 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 la. Yeah, this, these are just talking about the experiments. The post fanatic of night before pointed fingers will you will sleep was intact at Mrs. Jackson piece immediately progressed to a deep hypotonic state with no further suggestions. Uh, Miss Pierce uh, was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. And now in a deep hypotonic sleep and feeling this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire at it. Fire it at uh, Mrs. Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be great that would not hesitate to kill Jackson uh, for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out uh, the suggestions to the, the letter, including the fire unloaded. A, f a pneumatic pistol, a gun, ja a gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep after properly suggesting we made both were awakened and uh, and expressed complete insomnia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed states to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. That is very. That is interesting. That that is interesting to to. That is uh, interesting to uh, to read. That uh, so these are uh, so they did start on the project, and being on a uh, on a state of um, hypotonic state, uh, forced her to do something that she has no clue doing, which is actually very interesting to actually hear. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here uh, to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he is trying to sell me. Uh, this Dr. Uh, Merkner, Mernick uh, uh, is at the center of whatever uh, went wrong here, but he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Interesting. Okay. So now since uh, we came close to actually getting the hell out of here, but then F Father Martin uh, 
injected us and we, we saw a mysterious uh, being killed those uh, securities uh, at the uh, security monitor. Securities at the security monitor. Does that make any sense? <laughs> no, that does not. So anyway, nice as we witnessed all that, and then now we are God knows where at the asylum. I'm going to end the episode off here. So next time on uh, Outlast, we're going to be continuing on and finding another way out of here. Until next time.